We want to get right to that breaking news out of Kansas City. A Super Bowl celebration for the Chiefs turns deadly. Hundreds of people running for safety as gunshots erupted, many of them families with young children. This is a live look over Kansas City right now. One person has died. More than 20 others were injured. The FBI, ATF, and Department of Homeland Security all helping with the investigation tonight. Three people have been arrested. Investigators are still searching for a motive, but say it might have been sparked by an argument. This happened at the very end of the parade route. Nearly one million people were expected to attend, with hundreds of law enforcement officers there to keep the peace. CBS 2's Darius Johnson joins us now. He talked with a Chicago area man who witnessed the chaos. Darius. Joe and Erica, good evening. I can tell you that man is still trying to wrap his head around exactly what unfolded earlier today. Right now, law enforcement has set up a central centralized phone number for any victims and witnesses to assist with that investigation. Right now they are asking them to provide any video or information that can help them paint a better picture as to what happened. Hard work and dedication brought this day of celebration for the Kansas City Chiefs. Sadly, that jovial celebration turned into a nightmare as gunshots rang out in a crowd of nearly a million people. And initially, when we heard them, we kind of we thought they were fireworks, actually, like somebody let off some fireworks. And, you know, people start running from the area. Adrian Robinson of Gary went to the celebration to sell T-shirts with his dad. They were unaware of what was happening until people started running towards them. It was just chaos. I mean, people running you know, falling over the curb, or, you know, stepping on each other. I mean, people start diving under our tables, flipping our tables for cover. So we like, oh man, this is real. Police say one person was killed, more than 20 others wounded, including nine children who are all being treated for gunshot wounds. We had a, actually had a total of 12 patients, eight that were gunshot uh, victims. Otherwise, the other four had other sorts of problems. And uh, two of the people who were shot are in critical condition. The others are all in stable condition. The person killed has been identified as Lisa Lopez Galvin, a DJ at KKFI Radio in Kansas City. At the scene, police detained three people and there's video of one being tackled by a Chiefs fan. As I'm taking him down to the ground, I see the gun on the ground. Tonight, the motive remains unclear as investigators remain on the ground trying to make sense of what some call a dark spot on a joyful day. Today was tragic for everyone who was part of it. Could have been me, could have been one of my people and, uh, you know, just a blessing that it wasn't. President Biden released a statement saying in part for this joy to be turned to tragedy today in Kansas City cuts deep in the American soul. He and Jill also offered prayers for those killed and injured. I can tell you tonight the FBI and the ATF are staying on the scene overnight to continue assisting local law enforcement with the investigation. I'm Darius Johnson in the control room tonight. Joe and Erica, back to you in studio. Darius, thank you. Our sister station in Kansas City, KCTV 5, was doing a special live broadcast for the parade when the gunshots rang out. A sports reporter heard it happen live and tried to alert his colleagues. Listen to this. Guys, 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 something's going on. KCTV 5's Neil Jones was okay and continued guys, reporting on. on the shooting. Our live coverage of the parade shooting resumes tomorrow morning on our news. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar traveled to Kansas City to follow the story. We will bring you new information as we learn it here on air, on our stream, and also on our digital platforms.